y'all i'm not even gonna lie to you guys this is crazy here on Clarissica Says, where Clarissica says it all and that's how I feel. So we're back with another video and today we're going to be reviewing what I just found out per Brandon and per the internet, okay? Young Thug's baby mom has been fatally shot over a bowling ball. So she was at the Metro Fun Center in Atlanta and her and this male got into altercation and he ended up shooting her over this bowling ball. So I'm going to read this article to you guys, which is from the Black Enterprise um, and the Arthur is Jerselyn Johnson and this was dated on March 18, 2022. And so yeah, let's just get into it really quickly, okay? Lakevia Jackson. 31 was shot and killed at Metro Fund Center in the southwest part of Atlanta on Thursday night. CBS 46 reported. Now, they're just coming out saying that it's Young Thump Baby Mama, but today is definitely Friday, so this has happened yesterday, but it's now just hitting the press because they figured out who she was and who she's associated to. Okay. Oh. Um, Police say Jackson was attending her best friend's birthday celebration at the bowling alley and it and, and it turned into a physical altercation that resulted in gunfire. Um, a friend of Jackson's mother said Lakevia got into a fight over a bowling ball. The suspect waited in the parking lot for over 20 minutes before shooting her while she was leaving. So this man or woman, it says a man shot her. So this man definitely sat there stewing and brewing over her and this bowling ball. He probably felt disrespected and he was like, nah, she can't get over me like that or something. But he really sat out there waiting for her. He, this was, this was planned. This was what the, what, what's that word they call? Um, premeditated. He premeditated, to make, he premeditated Lee sat outside of this bowling alley and waited for her to walk out the doors and then was like, you know what? I'm gonna take my shot and shot her. I didn't know that was going to be the last time I talked to my baby, Lakevia's mother, Shereen Jackson said. I could hear her over the phone crying and screaming that her best friend says she's not breathing. When basically she can literally hear her daughter basically leaving, breath, leaving the breath, losing breath. Like, come on, at a bowling alley. First of all, you got a little baby that fought at a bowling alley. Now you're getting shot outside the bowling alley. What's up with the bowling alley situations? What's going on with bowling alleys nowadays? I don't understand. So, Sharina, which is Lakevia's mom, went on to say, I lost my baby all over a bowling ball. That's so petty. There, I, I don't understand how it, the situation got that heated for it to get to the point of this man shooting her over an altercation that happened with a bowling ball. Like, I feel like there's something we're missing. It can't just be this bowling ball. They might have some past beef. They might have some past um, interactions that we don't know about. Like, it's just not giving common sense here. It's not adding up. Now, things do happen that shouldn't happen. And this is probably one of them, but to me, it's just like, it can't be that. Like, what else is there to the story? And if it is just that, then really? You just killed a girl over a bowling ball. You're gonna go to jail for the rest of your life over a bowling ball. Like, did that make sense? Really? Investigators say they only have one male suspect at the time. Police are using surveillance video of the incident, ballistic evidence, and several cooperating eyewitnesses. This is truly an atrocity. A young woman has lost her life over a bowling ball. Like, <laughs> what else? There's nothing else to say. And then it's like, it's young thugs, baby mom. So it's like, really what is it did a man have a beef over the fact that she's your thug baby mama was it jealousy coming from young thug like y'all like it don't make any sense he's like well you, you you think you can talk to me any kind of way or me any kind of way because you're young thug baby mama like i'm just trying to think of like the correlation we talk about conflict resolution time and time again and this is an escalated dispute so we will work these this case through the night and we will find the person responsible. We know who you are, so go ahead and turn yourself in. Which I'm sure they do because, hello, you're at a whole Metro Fund Center. This 
Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. I've been to the Metro Fun Center, honestly, in 2020. So it's not giving, it's not making any sense. There's cameras everywhere, everywhere. So where do you think you're gonna go? Um, Woodfolk was upset about the in last incident of gun violence as the city deals with the increase of in, in violent crime. Last month, police said homicides were up 40% as noted by Fox 5 Atlanta. APD hasn't released the identity or details about the suspect shooter because they believe they are close to an arrest. Jackson is said to be the mother of one of Young Thug's six kids, uh, Revolt, reported. So for those of you that wanted to know, just to make sure I did touch upon this, Young Thug's real name is, let me make sure I said this right, Jeffrey Lamar Williams, right? He met Lakevia Jackson before he actually became the big known name as Young Thug. So their 14 year old son name is Kyvion Jackson and he right now does not have his mom due to an altercation at the Metro Fund Center over a bowling ball, which could have been de-escalated, avoided, and y'all could have went your separate ways. I don't know what transpired for them to get that freaking upset, but it really is no excuse. There is really no excuse for that to have happened. There's, it doesn't, some things don't add up and that's one of them. It's not clicking because it's not supposed to click. So there hasn't been any other information released besides what I just stated to you. There aren't any other suspects besides the one guy, which I believe from what we're hearing is the specific person who shot Lakevia. Um, let's go ahead and conclude this video. That This whole situation is just um, petty. This is petty, this is child's play, this is irrational, somebody moving on irrational feelings. Somebody's not, this man moved on a sense of anger and didn't think anything through. He just acted upon his feelings. Um, I feel like I don't think this man was trying to kill her. Um, just to make sure I point that out there. I think he was just trying to get back at her and he wanted to shoot her. I definitely think he wanted to shoot her. And I do I think that he wanted to kill her? No. But I do think that he definitely was like, all right, I'm gonna mother shoot this hoe. Like I'm for real. Like, excuse my French, but that's how these that's how these crazy people in their mind be thinking. Like you she can't just talk to me and kind of wait on get no consequences. Like who do you think she's talking to? Who do you think she is? I think that was the concept of the situation and yeah it is petty for it to be over a freaking bowling ball so there must have been some words that changed like no none of these articles are saying specifically what happened with the bowling ball all they keep saying is that it was a bowling ball incident they probably was fighting over bowling ball fighting over they probably would i don't know I can only have two theories. One, they were on the same lane, kind of, and the ball came through, and she was like, no, this is my ball, and no, this is my ball, and this is my ball, and who you talking to? It's like, getting loud. They probably have alcohol in their system, and you don't know, and we getting over some other kind of drug substance in their system, and then boom, 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 that's the next, and that's how it happened. Or, when they were going to get the balls to take it to their lane, they both saw the same balls. Maybe he accidentally bumped into her, so I'm getting my ball, when I'm going that ball, and let's see, and, or or she she accidentally bumped to him by accident or maybe something happened where they were both grabbing for the same ball and they wanted that same ball. I'm just thinking of how the only one or two, three options could have happened over dang bowling ball. Okay, now which one is what it is, y'all let me know because none of these articles are going into details. And I think the reason why, as that article has stated, is that they want to make sure that they are not giving too much, you know, uh, much out there for the public because they're trying to make an arrest. And some of this stuff can be um, distracting, especially when you have somebody that can publicly know that they're going after that specific person. And then you're talking about it, you're talking about the situation, talking about that person specifically. And the, Atlanta isn't that big. Like, they saw who it was, they were there. So therefore, people know, you know what I'm saying? And I'm sure whoever the guy is, is definitely in hiding right now because he don't want to get caught. That's ridiculous, over a bowling ball. Rest in peace, Akivia. I'm so sorry she had to go out like that. I do not wish anybody to go out in that kind of way. I wish we could all just go out peacefully in our sleep or before we go to sleep and wake up and we say, okay, I feel I feel it coming on. Goodbye to my family, all that kind of stuff, and then go my own way in my, in my dream to my next nirvana. You know what I'm saying? That's how I wish everybody can go on, but this was not 
actually I can't say that because it, it happened. You know, I don't want to say it, it, it wasn't, it was not meant to go down the way. Now, for those people that believe in certain religions, then it is what it is. That's why I'm saying, but I don't believe, personally, it was meant to go down that way. This was not meant to go down this way. Like, she should not have gone to a bowling alley and not be able to return home with her kids. Like, that's not what people do. That's not normal, okay? So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys come back for more. Give me more details on what's going on. You guys get some more details on this. And I will be here for it to be able to help you guys with as much of it as possible. Throughout the evening, I'll be looking um, it up as well to see specifically if there's any new information. Um, yeah. Yeah, guys. With that being said, I, I appreciate you guys watching this video. I appreciate you guys checking this information out and, and sending your rest in pieces to their friends and family. Um, rest in peace, Lakivia. I'm sorry you had to go that way, but he needs to be brought to justice. They know who the man is, and he will be brought to justice sooner than later. So with that being said, leave your thoughts down below. How do you feel about this situation? What would you have done differently? Could you see anything differently? What do you think actually transpired that evening? Because there aren't any really details giving any, giving us like what really went down. Like I want to see a play by play. This and this and this happened. Like come on. What do y'all think? So with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, be safe out there guys. Peace, love, and blessings. See you on the next one.